Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I finally found a new five pack at Walmart today. It's called the MBX Exotics. Um, I'm just gonna open it up, do a quick review, and then some comparisons to models I already have in my collection from this particular five pack. So once again, it's called MBX Exotics. And those are the vehicles in it. Let's have a look at the package, some of the licenses, and then uh, of course the back. There's the graphics. It's a nice car. And the other side. So give me a second, I'm just gonna open it up real quick and uh, we will do the unboxing and review. So I've taken it out of the packaging and that's what it looks like without the vehicles in there. I usually reuse the packaging to store most of the vehicles I don't display. There will be a couple of vehicles in this five pack that I do display. So let's just have a quick look at the vehicles and then let's go through them one by one. So I'm going to start off with a car that we have already seen this week. Zoom in on it. Ooh, that's way too much. So that is a Jaguar E Type. And we saw it uh, last week in my last video as it also came in this. I'm just going to zoom out. came out in this uh, single pack which is part of the UK matchbox series that uh, we see in Walmart's right now it's too bad that they didn't decide to use a different color so I'm just gonna be real quick with this we have already seen it really really nice car I don't mind having two of them in my collection to be honest with you it's one that I do collect good detailing look at that look at the back Really, really nice. And then just a few more that we already saw last week, so I'm not going to spend too much time. So that's uh, it's one of their higher end versions. Um, it also comes in that five pack, which is called Coffee Cruises. I'll just zoom out so you can see that. And I'm going to move right along. Next, I'm going to look at. Uh, The 2006 Ford GT, which we've already seen in red. So the red version came in this Autobahn Express five pack earlier this year. I've actually taken the vehicle out, so you, it's the, the missing uh, car from that particular five pack. And I'm just gonna put that right next to it. Quite a nice car. It's a good one to collect. I wish they detailed the back because I think uh, if the lights were filled in in both of those models, it would be stellar. But of course, I'm not sure why Matchbox does it, but they produce a product that is not a hundred com percent complete. Um, you know, they do the side tempos or the. Uh, front tempos and then the, of course they do the that combination there's nothing at the there's no detailing at the back which is such a shame I, I don't I really don't understand why a company would leave a beautifully designed vehicle not quite fully done it makes no sense to me look at that no detailing at all on either of those cars at the back which makes no sense these are beautiful cars really well designed and yet matchbox fails to finish them off not sure how much that saves them but I can't imagine its material. Look at that, just beautiful. Such a great vehicle. I'm gonna zoom out for a second so we can see that a little bit better. So no side tempos, 
and no back detailing, but it does have the tempo that runs across the body at the top. It's a really nice car. And then we've already seen the other versions, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but they do look amazing together. And once I have a few of them, um, I would I will definitely uh, display all of these. But for now, I'm just going to house them in the five packs that they came in. Okay, next we're going to look at the Corvette. So this is a Chevy Corvette ZR1. It's a really nice vehicle. Looks really good in this white detail tempos in the front as well as amazing detailing at the back. I'm just going to let it rotate one more time just because it's so amazing. Look at that. Look how good it looks from that angle. Really, really nice. Then just a close up for you guys. Look at that. That is just beautiful. And I've actually only got one other version of this particular vehicle and I'm just going to zoom out so that you can see it. It's a carded version. It comes from, uh, it's, it's a Matchbox product. It comes from um, a series that Matchbox did, which was called Shock Week. And it's off of the Discovery Channel. Just a quick look at the car. Once again, no detailing at the front. This would have been an absolute beauty if it had the lights filled in. But they've got the side tampo going, and then of course there's no rear uh, detailing either. But it's uh, blue base, as you can see. And you can see the Matchbox logo right there, and just to get the year. The back, it's a 2016. Uh, there were five other vehicles, as you can see there, as part of this collection. This is the only one I have. And I think I would have been interested in the Toyota Tacoma as well. But the rest of them are neither here nor there for me. Just uh, keep with the theme of moving along real quick here. Let's zoom in. So that's a Lotus Evora. It's a 2008. Just going to center that up there. Again, it doesn't look like it has any, it hasn't been detailed at the back, which is just too bad. But it does have front detailing there. But the lights are filled in. As are, you can see the black portion there. It's actually quite a nice car, and it's got quite a bit of weight to it. And then that's the only other version that I have of it, which I just opened as well. I'm just gonna show you the card. I, have, I had two of them carded and I figured, you know what, I'd open one up. There's the graphics. I'm just gonna zoom out real quick. So this is a 2016 version, or a license I should say, 2008 Lotus Evora. Once again, there's the full card. There's a look at both vehicles. Same tires. The black version. It's a matte black, and you can see the lights are filled in in the matte black version. Oh, no, 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 they're not. Oh, no, they are. Look at that. See that? It's hard to focus in, but they are filled in. You can see them, sort of. There you go. Pretty nice, some good weight to it. See the Lotus symbol. And then of course the one we just opened, which this one for some reason seems to be a touch heavier than the black version. It's again, good, good detailing at the front. And of course the rear, no number plate. 
and uh, no detailing, which is a shame. And of course, my favorite car from this pack is this Lamborghini Gallardo. Zoom in. Definitely collecting these, there's no question about it. I wish they detailed the back and the front on this. Such a beautiful vehicle. To leave it half undone is a travesty. And then I, of course, have two other versions and I'm gonna try and collect them all there. Oh, they're quite common, so they're not too pricey, even, uh, even though they've been out for a while now and uh, there's probably, I'm guessing, 10 different versions of it. I have three of them and those are the three I do have. Just gonna do a quick close up of this, the one we just opened. So it's a 63 police. So no detail at the back. Look at those two, they're just incredible. So the new one, we, the one we just opened is probably my least favorite of these three and certainly has the worst wheel combination. The other two have these phenomenal rims on them, as you can see there. They look absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, all three are not detailed in the back, but um, a really, really nice model here. And definitely one worth collecting. And I'm just gonna review one fast one last look at everything we just opened so you guys can just see them all in one shot and that was the last one I just want to make a couple of notes here so these are all amazing vehicles and I, I love every single one of them and they're all new to my collection other than the uh, Jaguar e-type which I um, already added to my collection last week in the UK series but uh, I noticed that all of these vehicles have been released by Matchbox previously. For example, the Lamborghini Gallardo was issued in 2014 originally. The Corvette ZR1 1999 came out in 2011. The Ford GT 2005, which is the silver vehicle there, was released in 2009 already. And even the blue 1961 Jaguar E-Type was issued in 2008. And of course, the Lotus Evora, uh, came out in 2011 uh, by Matchbox. It was in a um, some sort of a five pack, if my memory is correct. So it's it's too bad. I mean, I'm really really happy to add all these vehicles, and it's certainly cheaper than buying them on eBay and paying for shipping. But part of the beauty of collecting vehicles is, you know, like scarcity brings value, and if you know Matchbox continues to release exactly the same vehicle. You know years after the original release it sort of diminishes the collectability of some of these models um, I'm not a big fan of it even though I am you know happy to add these vehicles to my collection because I think you know for five bucks this is as good a combination of cars as you could possibly expect but ideally ideally you know I think these should be bought on the secondary market from places like eBay because they have been out for a while and they should stay scarce uh, and by respecting collectors that did get them years ago uh, I think that's the right thing to do um, I guess it's controversial but that's sort of where I stand on it uh, having said that guys thanks for watching my channel and um, please do subscribe if you haven't already this is a fantastic five pack if you don't have these cards cars please go out and get it and once again it's called MBX exotics and uh, there's the white Ford GT that you can uh, easily identify. Have a great day.